Back when you were little, there may be a point in your life that you became excited whenever hearing their introduction, once upon a time. Because maybe your mother or father will read a new fairy tale story to you. Then growing up, some of these fairy tales are still remembered. You still know the curfew time of Cinderella. You still remember how many dwarves Snow White has. And of course, you cannot forget the song of Aladdin and Princess Jasmine during the magic carpet ride. Now, lucky you. This video will be a once upon a time glimpse of the life of the Prince of Saudi, Prince Salmon. Let's get to know this prince, his possessions, and look through his unending wealth. But before anything else, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to be updated on our next luxurious videos. Okay, now hold on to your carpet because this video will be a combination of a luxurious and magical ride. Once upon a time, a man from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia was born on August 31st, 1985. His name is Mohammed bin Salman or colloquially known as MBS. Ever since he was young, his interest over the government was already evident. He used to come with his father whenever a meeting with dignitaries is held. He also learned how to carry himself and be conscious about his image to avoid partiality. He finished a degree in law during 2007 in King Saud University in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. After graduation, he focused on empowering entrepreneurship and nonprofit organization. Moreover, he utilized what he learned at school to become the formal advisor of his father during 2009. After earning the trust of his father, he became appointed as crown prince in 2017. Certainly, this real-life Aladdin did not earn his spot as the crown prince through an easy feat. He studied, worked hard, and here he is. Mohammed bin Salman is not only known for his unending wealth as part of the royal family, Similar with other people, he has his own interest, but not just simple and common interests. He has luxurious interests. Of course, one of which is luxurious cars. Alright, I know what you are thinking. Some billionaires also own luxurious cars. Well, you're right. But the one owned by MBS is coated with diamonds. Yes, a diamond coded Mercedes to be exact. It seems like he will never have any trouble finding his car when he parked with other cars because the one which screams luxury is definitely his. But he isn't done yet because he went ahead and purchased more extraordinary luxury cars such as a customized gold Lamborghini Aventador SVJ worth $7.5 million, a gold Rolls Royce Phantom Coupe worth $8 million, and his not-so-favorite gold Bugatti Veyron Grand Sports worth $12.5 million. This Bugatti car will never accept the definition of fast because that would be an understatement. Imagine this, if you ever drive this car at 204 miles per hour, and if you check your speedometer for just one second, you'll miss the next 299 feet. However, MBS wealth is not only limited to transportation vehicles via land. He also purchased 440 feet yacht worth $500 million. With regards to the design of the boat, you may expect that the biggest names in building luxury boats were responsible for this super yacht. You got that right. Finn Cantieri, the largest shipbuilder in Europe, Based in Trieste, Italy, together with Raymond Langton Design, an international award-winning interior and exterior design company for Super Yachts, are the companies behind MBS Super Yacht. This Super Yacht is known as Serene. It is one of the largest vessels ever built in Italy and the world. It is known for its sophisticated style, features, and technologies. Don't worry about its size and fear it may sink, because apart from MBS investing for the interior and exterior design of Serene, he also ensured that people aboard will be safe and sound. 
Serene was actually built in accordance to the rules and regulations of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea or Solace. So, you may ask, what is it for me to come aboard Serene? Well, do not be so surprised because this super yacht has an enormous internal sea water pool, two helipads, a submarine, multiple pools, a snow room, steam room, jet stream swimming pool, children's playrooms, underwater viewing room, outdoor cinema, a boardroom, piano room and bar, conference room, sauna, beauty center, an exhaustive list of yacht toys. Speaking of its two helipads, this may be converted into a dance floor, so you got to be ready grouping. There are plenty of swimming pools and it is up to you to choose according to your mood. You may want to go to the spa pool if you want to chill and relax. Furthermore, this yacht may exclude excellence and luxury, which you may think only fitted for adults, but it also has a lot of space for children. There are playrooms which offers different activities such as climbing wall. In addition, the latest video game consoles may be found in entertainment centers. Lastly, Serene has the world's most expensive artwork of Leonardo da Vinci. Salvatore Mundi is located. The location of this painting has been a mystery ever since the auction in New York in 2017, and it was sold for 450 million whopping dollars. Hold on, we are not yet done, because the prince got more to spend. He also owns a $120 million super yacht named Pegasus 8. This is a 260 feet vessel which a cinema that can accommodate 13 people. A helipad which is as wide as double a golf driving range and can be converted into a swimming pool and jacuzzi. Moreover, Pegasus 8 accepts 12 guests and 26 crew members. People on board may seem small in number, but entertainment in Pegasus 8 will never feel inadequate. This yacht also offers two bars with 1,000 bottles of tequila and a dance floor. So, will you try Pegasus 8 tequila if ever got a chance to come aboard? Let me know in the comments. Moving forward, MBS does not only like luxury vehicles like cars and super yachts. Of course, as a prince, he also needs to be comfortable in his own home. MBS owns the most expensive house in the world, Chateau Louis XIV in the west of Paris. I will not make you wait anymore because I bet you want to know about its price. Well, this house costs 300 million whopping dollars. Apart from excluding luxury, it is also embodies elegance because of its structure fitted for the 17th century. It has gold-leafed fountain marble statues and labyrinth of hedges. Please don't see this house as an old and boring one because MBS invested so much on technology in his house. Through your iPhone, you may control the air conditioners and even the fountains in his place. One fact about this house is that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West consider this as their venue for their wedding. If ever the wedding was held here, I am sure that it would not only be romantic, but magical. So, back to the chateau. It has a movie theater, a wine cellar which can hold 3,000 bottles, a squash court, a gold-covered doors and fixtures, frescoes, two amazing ballrooms, and two swimming pools. Oh, before I forgot, it also has an underground nightclub filled with MBS art collection. Next, MBS is not only wealthy because he is part of the royal family. He is also engaged with various national and international business ventures. Saudi Aramco, the world's largest oil producer and the most profitable company, is owned by the Saudi royal family. Its worth is $2 trillion and MBS is involved in overseeing the company. Aside from this, one of MBS's hobbies is watching football and taking advantage of his wealth, he successfully purchased England's Newcastle United soccer team for a total of $409 million. The Saudi consortium will have 80% ownership, 
the 10% went to the property developers, Simon and David Rubin, and another 10% to British investor Amanda Stavely's PCP Capital Partners. The money used to purchase this soccer team is from the Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund. With MBS and his family's success, you may wonder if ever they argue about each of their fair share to the family's total wealth. Gladly, this family is not like that. In fact, MBS is incredibly close with his family. MBS is also happy with his own family. He has five children with his cousin, Sarah bin Mashor al Saud. After MBS' father died, the throne was eventually passed to him, which made him the youngest king of Saudi Arabia in history. Given a healthy relationship with his brothers, passing the throne to him never became an issue. Well, there you have it. A glimpse of Saudi Prince Salman's lifestyle. So, what do you think about Mohammed bin Salman and his lifestyle? Will you spend this much if ever you have the same amount of fortune like him? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked and enjoyed today's luxurious video. If you did, don't forget to like and share this video. Also, subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos like this one. As always, this is Lux Luxury Channel. Thank you for watching.